Welcome back to Bit Break. In this video, I'm going to tackle a problem that a lot of you probably have. It's a problem shared by book lovers all over the world. What to do when that TBR pile gets out of control. Just in case you haven't been on booktube that long, your TBR pile means your to be read pile. All of those books you have stacking up in your house that you haven't managed to get to yet. And this is a problem that a lot of booktubers have and talk about and so I have been doing my research, I have scoured the internet and in this video I'm bringing together a bunch of tips that booktubers use to get their TBR piles down. And every booktuber that I mention will be linked below so go and look in the description box to go check out their amazing channels but let's get to it. So the first tip that loads of booktubers use to get their TBR piles down is to turn it into a game. And booktube is an amazing resource for this. There are readathons specially designed to help you work through your TBR pile. So for example, there's Tome Topple created by Thoughts on Tomes. This is a recurring readathon designed to help you work through those big books you've got waiting on your shelves. There is Cramathon, which has loads of hosts, so I will link all of them below. Again, it's a recurring readathon, it's a week long and encourages you to speed through those books that you haven't yet finished this year. There's also Finishathon, which is hosted by T Books and Tasman, and that is for people who read multiple books at once and struggle to actually finish any of them. There is a readathon designed to help you finish all of those books that are still waiting by your bed in the technically currently reading pile. And then there are booktubers who have made up their own creative games, which you can copy for yourself. So Kayla from Books and Lala used to do a series called closet unhaul, her closet being where she kept her massive TBR pile. So what she would do is re-watch her own book haul videos from a few years before and everything that she still owned and hadn't read from that book haul she had to read within the next month otherwise she had to unhaul it and give it away. And that was a really fun series to follow along with and definitely something you could try yourself if you have a bullet journal or if you keep track in any way of when you hauled books you can see how long they've been on your TBR and maybe set yourself that challenge. There are also games like Stack It, which Leanne from Literary Diversions does, where she selects a stack of books that she owns and then over the next month she has to read through them in that order. And she has a few fun little exceptions that allow her to flip the pile over. Again, I will link to her video below so you can go check out all the rules, but it's a really fun way of keeping yourself focused. I've even made up a couple of TBR games myself. I do Balancing the Book every month where I count all of the books that I've hauled and all of the books that I've read or unhauled and make sure that those numbers balance so that my TBR isn't growing and I also created a game called Trash My TBR where I post a video with a bunch of books from my TBR and invite people to comment on which ones they think I shouldn't bother reading so that also really helps me get those numbers down. And there are so many more, really any kind of TBR game is a great way of getting you to focus on your own unread books rather than getting distracted and wanting to buy new ones. So people play games where they write down all of the books that they own unread and put those names into a jar and then they just pick them out in order and that's the book they have to read. Or Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment used to play a game where she wrapped up all of the books on her TBR and then it would be a surprise unwrapping which one she was going to read. And quite a few different booktubers do that now, so they're really fun to watch. Meg with Books does it, Eri's Book Wonderland does it, and Pardon My Imagination does it. There are also loads of variations out there on TBR bingo. I recently got really into Kehlani's version of this, so she has a proper little bingo wheel with balls that come out with different numbers that match up to different different prompts and she then using those prompts has to read something from her shelf but she is also corresponding those numbers to a big bingo board that she has so you check in every month and see how she's progressing so you get really invested in it and one of the prompts that I saw in one of her videos was to use a random colour generator website to pick a book that has the same colour cover and I thought that was really fun on its own I might try that with my own books one of the coolest ideas I saw in a video from Wonderness, she matched up every piece on a chessboard to a book from her TBR. She then played a game of chess, and depending on which pieces got taken during the game, those were the books that she had to read. People just get more and more creative every day. So you get the gist. Making it into a game is a really good way to tackle your TBR, but there are loads more suggestions out there. So I Should Read That made a video all about how she was going to tackle her TBR, which has over 450 books, if that makes you feel a bit better about yours. And one of her tips was mixing up the formats that she was reading in. So switching between physical books and eBooks and audiobooks. 
Boston actually managed to get their TBR down to zero, which is very, very impressive. And one of the ways they did it was putting themselves on a book buying ban, but to satisfy that urge that they get to buy new books, we all experience that, they only let themselves buy physical copies of books that they had already read and loved. So maybe a book that they had borrowed from the library or from a friend and they'd really loved it, they were then allowed to go and buy maybe a second-hand copy of that book. So it really satisfied that urge to buy something new and beautiful without adding to their TBR. Books by Lanes made a really good video about this about four years ago, so she was ahead of the TBR panic that everyone's experiencing now. And in that video she talked about how you need to really figure out your motivation for why you want to get your TBR piled down. Don't just be pressured because everyone else is talking about it. Because at the end of the day there are so many good things about having a big TBR as well, so if you really enjoy having stacks of books around the place just waiting to be read, then embrace that, enjoy that feeling. It doesn't have to be something that you feel guilty about. All of these are hopefully just useful tips if you feel like your TBR is too big for your space or your personal comfort level, but that's not to say that you have to get that TBR down at all. So I will link all of the videos that I just talked about in a playlist here, and I would also love to know your own tips and tricks for how you manage your TBR pile, so do leave us a comment below and let us know. See you next time!